Today's tech tip is about how the Anderson sterilizers work. So in one of our videos, we talked about what eogas is, ethylene oxide. So I have Maria with me again, and now I want to know how this works with sterilization. That's a great topic, and one I like to talk about quite often. Um, with our systems, we are the only sterilization system on the market using eogas in what we call a flexible chamber. It's a sterilization liner bag with the ampule that we discussed in one of our previous videos. And all of your product goes into the sterilization liner bag with your gas ampule. Once it is all packed and ready to go, we want to make sure that it has the, the best path and the highest concentration at the very beginning of the cycle. So as you can see, one of the liner bags is already purged down. We have removed all of the extra space that we don't need in there, all the dead space. And once the ampule is actually activated, it diffuses through this gas release bag. It takes about 11 minutes. And I think you did a video on, on what to do if you drop one of these little Yeah, ampules. that you see this bag expand. So you're saying after this purge, you, you break the, the ampule then this bag will expand because of the gas. Correct, exactly. It's currently in a liquid form. Once that ampule is broken, it turns into a gas immediately and it will diffuse or make its way through the gas release bag, work its way around your product into the center. And once it has gotten to the center, then it slowly diffuses through the liner bag here into your cabinet and out. Correct, Side. and outside. So that's the way this system works, our Amperlene systems. We do have heated chambers that will probably be another video that Jacqueline does that we can talk about a little later, but the Amperlene system is one of the most popular with the veterinary markets. Awesome. That's it for today's tech tips. Thanks, Maria. You're welcome. Call your rep if you have any questions.